Hi Aquarius, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. This is your weekly reading for um, this week. So I'm going to do a situation action outcome card and then I'm going to clarify. And then I'm going to pull an oracle card. This week I'm using the Work Your Light Oracle card. So Aquarius, what is your situation? What's your outcome Aquarius? What's your outcome? I mean action. And then your outcome. Yeah. The world. So your situation is going back to school. You're learning everything that you need to learn. You are learning this week, Aquarius. You are getting in the whatever school, uh, in the kitchen, and learning, learning, learning. Learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. You're finding attention to detail and skilled work that you love. That's your situation, Aquarius. Your actionable item is King of Wands, which is to step into your power. Really, really step into your power this week. If you're learning, then you need to understand that you can also lead as well. Once you learn something, you can take somebody else with you. Absolutely be a tutor once you learn. And that helps you continue to learn. So it says motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight, public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, and don't be sensitive to criticism. That's for you, Aquarius, okay? So the outcome is the world. The world, many, many, many blessings, positive, positive blessings, okay? A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want, being proud of yourself. Once you learn something, then step into a leadership role from it then you'll be very, very proud of yourself this week, Aquarius. Very, very proud. I'm getting that you guys are going to be doing some kind of training this week, like learning something in order to train somebody else to do it. But let's clarify. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Give me three cards for Eight of Pentacles. Clarify. One more, one more. Ah. Something had to end. Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, there was conflict. Um, Aquarius, there was conflict within two people, uh, which caused an, an ending. Very much so conflict. Four of Wands is here. That's really like peaceful contentment. You're now content that something had to end because this drama here had to stop. That's peaceful, a great time of joy, success, peaceful contentment. And Ten of Swords is, you know, a very big ending, but it led to a new beginning. That's what brought on this joy. <laughs> That's what allows you to learn because the conflict is over now. Maybe it's, an, sometimes it's an internal conflict, but other times it may be a conflict with others. Drama for no reason, basically. The drama had to stop in order for you to maintain and find peace in this so can we clarify father the uh king of wands the action which is stepping into a leadership role the action the action is fighting for what you believe in there's also conflict here there's five of uh, swords but uh, three of wands there's like conflict but it's not really there if you see this this man is walking i mean everybody's walking away so is that really a victory so protecting what you have, waiting on your ships to come in because you're you're realizing that whoever say they won this conflicting situation regarding your lessons in life, they didn't really win anything. You protected your beliefs. Whatever the opposing opinions might have been, you protected your beliefs. And that's why you're being called to step into this leadership role and show others how to do it as well. Because let people win these um these victories that aren't really victories somebody tried to get over on you and you decided hey let me just walk away from this aquarius what's going on with you speak the world the outcome is the world okay let's verify i mean let's clarify <laughs> the world so you have queen of wands you have king of cups and then you have nine of swords you have somebody here that's really really you know coming in with some compassion with some love it's time to spread your wings and fly but you're scared this this new 
love um, this this um passionate leap of faith that you need to take is keeping you up at night but that's why you need to be proud of yourself because all of this these two cards don't come with this you it keeps you up at night joy and success shouldn't scare you whether it's joy and success in relationships whether it's joy and success in um in the workplace i think sometimes people get scared of being great but it's time to be proud of yourself don't hide in the corner you got so much love here you got um also you know just queen of wands she is bad you know she is that i mean not bad in a bad way she's like i mean she's that woman who you can't tell her nothing she stands up for herself she stands into her power so to sleep at night and still be uh did i do that right or your outcome yes you did that right if you allow it to be it will be be proud of yourself don't let anybody tell you not to be and being proud of yourself also means you know going into inside yourself at nighttime nighttime is when the worst demons come out and so you have a fear of being successful that's it Aquarius, you have a fear of being successful. Don't fear being successful. You have a fear of being successful in relationships. You have a fear of being successful in the workplace. You have a fear of success this week. Be careful with that because that's why the need to be proud of yourself and step into a leadership role and to learn everything that you can. Because once you learn everything, your confidence goes up and you don't have that fear anymore. Your confidence absolutely goes up. You're... you're <laughs> Your oracle card has answered the call. <laughs> what is your soul calling you to do? And that's, again, fear of success. Answer the call. You can't um, dim your life for anybody just because you don't want to answer the call. Like, oh, but what if I, what if I fail? But what if you succeed? But what if I succeed? You know, got to get out of your head on that one. Aquarius answer the call your guidance is divinely guided you're being called to answer the call of your soul it might be scary it might not make sense but if you trust your soul's yearnings um, you will have a, a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine answering your soul's calling is not one time thing rather a lifelong dance Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you're called to do, that's your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the call of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you're not most people. You are exactly in the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't need to know where it's leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anybody else. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is for our soul's growth. So what is your soul calling you to do? Situation is Aquarius. Listen up. Learn what you can. Learn all you can. Then go around and teach. Let your light shine. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight because you've learned it. <laughs> There's no need to doubt yourself at that point. And then your outcome is gaining the world. Being proud of yourself for doing that. Being proud of yourself for answering the call. Going for what your soul says to do. So that's for you, Aquarius. I hope this information helped and blessed you. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>